Oh man, look at this. Emily! Hey, what's up Reefers? Welcome back. The last weekend was awesome. Emily and I went camping with Mighty Nano Tanks family and it was a fantastic time. Dad, what are you doing? Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> On the way back, I received a message from DME Reefer. He knows that I've been looking for baby clownfish and he saw a few at Blue Ribbon Aquatics. So seeing this message and seeing how Emily was asleep in the passenger seats made a slight detour on the way back home. Flashback. On the way back from camping, um, we're making a pit stop. Emily. Guess where we are? Guess where we are? Home? No. Someone's home? No. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything this small. This is tiny. Look at that. Smaller than my... Well, about the size of my little pinky nail. Here's another one. Look at them. These are like tiny little dude. What are they? Are they cute? No. It's like totally naked. Just like a... It's like he's wearing a, he's wearing a helmet. But like no shirt at all. And no pants. Look at this little dude. He's pretty small too. Oh, that's oh, that cute. Is cute. Oh, he likes you. Oh, man. He likes you. Oh, oh. I'll take it home. Alright, so here's the thing. Um, the clownfish here is technically not for sale because they're so hard to get out and we need here to help the enemy. But if this little dude can be easily, then well, we'll see. Skills. Oh man, thank you so much. Let's yeah. just take a big picture. It's a unique looking guy, eh? So, so naked. <laughs> that was funny. That's a funny fish. That's a funny fish. Yeah, he's almost like the nearly naked. So yeah, but not quite, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> not quite ready to come in fully. Anything else for you guys? Oh, that's it. Thank you so much. Thanks for the help. Uh, we found this interesting little fella, not quite naked. He got a, um, a band around the head, so he got a first band and a little dot in the body. But it just feels so unique and really friendly. Right now it's freaking out a little bit, so we're gonna, let's, let's, let's bring it home. Thank you again, DMV Reefer, for letting me know that uh, Blue Ripping Products got some baby clownfish in. This, is, this little fella is perfect. Three hours later. All right, so I have been floating this little clownfish for close to an hour now as I start putting away all the camping gear. Um, so let's go ahead and get him drip acclimated. So here is the innovative marine acclimation system. This is basically an uh, IV drip and right here you can see the drip rate and I really like this thing right here. I actually got three total. Um, that shows how much I like this. Uh, it's pretty cheap too. Got this water going into uh, the back. I dump off some water ready so I don't have to like wait as long. So the plan is to kind of fill this up, dump a half and then uh, drip again. All right, so there's our new guy. There's Nemo right there. Um, look at the size. Tiny little guy, but it has definitely grown. It's probably the size of my thumbnail now. Um, so let's get this new dude in. I'm using my hand because it's really soft. It's a lot softer than the net. And let's do this. There he is. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> he looks so ridiculous. You got like a headband and that's it. Look at this, look at Nemo, look at him. He's a funny little character. I think it's slightly larger than Nemo right here. Actually no, they're about the same size. Now that I look at it, Nemo is really grown. I, I think there'll be a slight battle of dominance first, but they're both so tiny, so hopefully it should be okay. So I got some Ocean Nutrition, Prime Reef. It would be amazing if the new fish eat right now, but I highly doubt it. However, you never know, right? He is looking, oh. oh, there's Nemo. Oh, there, there they are, they're meeting, they're meeting. They're about the same size. They're about the same size. Oh, Nemo's like, nope. My home is not Nemo. Oh, look at that, Nemo is pushing, pushing the new guy away. But the new guy's kind of, oh, mouth to mouth. That means they're kind of fighting for dominance. Nemo got nice. I really like the black border on the fin. The black fins looks nice. Look at the new fish. They're, they're trying to communicate. They're working it out. 
well, not really. I think the battling. Yeah, there's a little battling. See the mouth to mouth? Yeah, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna have to work it out. Oh, the new fish actually went into the anemone. Yeah, Nemo's defending. He's like, nope, my turf. Oh man, look at this. Emily! Emily! I was suspecting, I was expecting Nemo to be either smaller or larger. I didn't expect them to be about the same size. So that's a um, mistake on my part, but I think they will work this out because they're both so small. One of them, the growth's gonna stunt and that's the submissive one that will become a male and the more aggressive one will become the female. It'll be interesting. Oh man, look, the new guy's trying to go into Nami and Nemo just like, nope, my turf. Nemo's being aggressive, defending his home. Rightfully so. Dude, I feel bad. I should've gotten a, I should've gotten a smaller one or a larger one. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch them a little bit. Hopefully they'll work it out. Um, it kind of, this, this actually recently happened to the pair of clown that has been together for almost four years now in 45 gallon. They both have like torn mouth. Uh, but the main thing to watch out for is torn fin. I was told that like if the fin is torn, then okay, you gotta be careful. But uh, if the fins are intact, for the most part, they're just kind of working, working the differences. They're like kind of tussling a little bit to determine who's the dominant one. Oh geez, okay, I feel bad. Good lord. All right, let, oh, we're gonna watch them for a little bit to make sure um, they don't really do any serious damage to each other. They they should work it out. I mean, they're tiny little guys. Emily, Emily, they're fighting. They fight it. Who do you think will win? Miss Bar. Two hours later. Nemo won. They're trying to coexist. What do you think? I mean, it is. In jail. It is Nemo's home. In you know jail. I mean? What that? Right, Mac? Uh. Yeah. So I think like the new guy is gonna have to stay around here. Was he was in the frog spawn? He was in frog spawn as well. Oh man. I mean, it's already better before they were like battling non-stop. So now there's a clear dominance. So now they just gotta work things out. They'll be all right. I think they'll actually be all right. There's no torn fin. Yeah, so slowly, I think Nemo's gonna get used to him and start letting him in. Cool? Mm -mm. No? Matt, cool. cool? Yeah? Not yeah? Cool. cool? You guys cool? Cool? No. Cool. The next day. All right, we have second night. Uh, just fed the tank. Should I fed the tank like this a third time? I want to make sure they're both eaten. As you can see, the new guy is kind of stuck to a corner. Uh, Nemo keeps pinning him down to that corner. But the fact that there's no torn fin, uh, that's a that's a good sign. Like I don't see any really physical contact. Just a lot of dive bombing from Nemo. All right, look at these two clowns. Okay, they're finally starting to talk. Look at that. Look at that, a new clown is actually turning to the side and shaking. That's the submissive move. So that is a good sign. This is actually the first time I'm watching them doing this. Uh, no longer are they face to face, right? So the new clown is no longer challenging Nemo for his position. Right now, they're showing submissive move every single time Nemo is uh, dive bombing him. The next day. Okay, I think things are going well. There's Nemo, there's a new guy. DJ, okay, okay. Oh, oh, they're working it out. Look at that. They're communicating. Communication is key, guys. Nemo, don't be a jerk. Oh, there it is. They're communicating. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, they're fine. They're fine. Look. Basically, uh, <laughs> basically every time now when Nemo charges him, the new fish just kind of turns sideways and submit and shake. That's a submission move. So do it enough, Nemo will be like, okay, he's no longer a threat, and then they'll start becoming friends and possibly even pair up. Oh, by the way, what, what's his name? B J N M. Why is that? Cut. She has a headphone on. So Emily's saying that she has a headphone on. You do realize that she will most likely be a he, right? Uh, because in Clownfish world, the dominant one becomes the female, and the submissive one is stay small. And becomes I a male. Faith in you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the next morning. Okay, come, come, come. Fadia, Fadia. You come, Fadia, Fadia, Fadia. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Come on, Fadia. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Mac, 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 Mac. You. Okay, you don't need to come. Ooh. They all gone? Hey? Uh oh, hey, no, no. Uh. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Look, 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 look. Oh. Look! Wait, wait, keep looking. Yeah, it's 
side. Keep looking. No, keep looking. Keep looking. Oh, what's up? Both of them are the same anatomy. See that? Uh -huh. Oh, snap. It happened. So yeah, I made it. Yeah, look at that. DJ MM in the house. Yeah, look at that. Because like at first I was like, wait. Okay, one is stripe. All of a sudden it popped out. I was like, no stripe? What? What happened to Nemo? And now watch. The other one popped back up. I was like, oh. Well, stripe. The other, dude, the other one went deep. Oh, there, there he is. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Oh, yo. You're going to find him again. Yeah. Oh, I think, I guess it's still working it out. Ooh, guys, look at this. Look at Dom. There is Nemo right there, and then there's DJ MM. The friends now. DJ MM. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They are completely okay with each other now. And oftentimes you see DJ MM kind of turn sideways and just kind of shake uh, to show that he is submissive to Nemo. So what is gonna happen is that Nemo's become the dominant female and get much larger. And DJ MM is gonna grow a little bit larger, but remain smaller to be the uh, the beta, the male. But look at that, happy ending, right? This is really cool. Look at that. So between the two, which one is your favorite? Miss Bar. Miss Bar. <laughs> this is a extreme Miss Bar. Extreme Miss Bar. I think it's called. Yeah. So this fish, yeah, this fish is really interesting because like when we we're at the store um, at Blue Ribbon Koi. Oh, Blue Ribbon Aquatic is their name now. Uh, this, this fish actually swim towards us. Usually fish swims away. But this one actually comes towards us. So I was like, oh, okay. And em Emily's a firm believer of the fish picking the owners. So this is a happy ending of this little clownfish saga. I'm really happy to report that we finally found a uh, buddy for Nemo right there. I will be sure to update you guys on what they've been doing. And if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Inappropriate Reefer. Usually I have a lot of updates on there. Um, and there's actually a lot of things I did not even talk about on my YouTube channel that is on my Instagram. So definitely check it out. The tank is looking pretty good these days. Uh, we're gonna slowly add more corals to it. And we actually have um, I actually have a really exciting coral that's gonna come tomorrow. <laughs> I don't care. We are here on this very earth to love and to be oh. loved. Oh, the oh, first of all, huge thanks to Central Rally Airport.